हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज बलराम प्रसाद एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज ए सीनियर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट यूएसए टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट लिटिल बिट अबाउट एप्लीकेशन इन साइट एंड देन वी विल क्रिएट ए एप्लीकेशन इन साइट एन अजूर पोर्टल सो एप्लीकेशन इन साइट इज ए सर्विस प्रोवाइडेड बाय अजूर एंड अजूर इज ए माइक्रोसॉफ्ट क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग सोल्यूशन so what is application inside so when we talk about application inside and it is a feature of azure monitor which is a service for developer and devops professional this this is application inside so application inside generally if you plug in right into your application and your host then you can able you should be able to detect uh, that performance anomalies right and then you can analyze that one integrate with dotnet node uh, node.js java python variety of application we can integrate that one and then if we integrate properly then we should be able to see that one whatever host you have we are using the host will send that all the performance related counters to that uh, this service and then you have instrumented your code to write the logs uh, previously we used to do in um, um, sql or uh, file based system you used to write dev, uh, dev logs uh, application component logs uh, that will go to application insight and then using that all this call and uh, when we are making any calls to another component such as uh, be a db call or any other calls or any other people is calling our services all this dependency and http request all this will be logged and how much time it is taking all this will be logged and that will go to application inside if you see this graph and as you see this picture all this is coming from different sources to application inside and then application using this application inside data you can analyze that one build a power bi report for your devops professional for supporting your component that um if something goes down then you should be um, get alerted or you, if your component is for not performing very well in some other day or something then you should be get alerted then you can uh, do different things based on that one might be you can increase your server capacity or might be you see that why your performance is not uh, good for that component or that call so all this is going to come and then you can continuous export to some other places also where you are going to uh, analyze more in depth using some big data solution so that you can do it provides some of the feature in built inside that request rates what's the request rate what the response time what is the failure rates what is the dependency exceptions ajax call from website users how many um, active users are there how many different user unique users came to your page or if you have any web page session counts then all this is coming to you uh, this application inside and we can see from there and if you see this one that it um, it has lot plenty of uh, feature for exploring the data usage analysis you can do you can diagnostic search for um, that insert insert data or you can aggregate the data and then you can dashboard that one if you go and see that in some um, building dashboard then you can see that a hey, dashboard looks like this one that uh, failed request count server response time availability word 99.9 or what so using this one you can have a live metrics analytic uh, stream so that if you want to auto heal scenario you can uh, you want to do that one if load is increased then uh, you want to alert you want to get created ticket or if you want to uh, auto increase the size of uh, your backend or servers you can do plenty of things using this tool so um, this is a good tool to have and you you can go ahead and check that one and it has good um, sdk for asp.net .net node.js java python i have used from this uh, toolkit from scala i have used from .net .net core i have used from react so you can use this call and you can see that one uh, how it is working so this is a good tool i'm going to create a quickly one uh, application inside from azure portal which uh, you can see 
and this this if you see this one that um, details you can go and build this kind of dashboard and you can explore more on that one that how user flow is there that how user comes on your main home page and then how it goes to different pages or different places what it does so you can understand user behavior more from using this tool and then based on that user behavior if you see that one that hey how much uh, usage is being ha happening for this page or this feature or you want to retire some feature you want to build some more, more feature on the most user place then you can do that when all decision can you can take uh, using this data and so that is why we say most of the time that how you are going to make a decision based on data that which uh, how what you are going to build something for user right so using this kind of data we generally know that one that hey what we have to build in next iteration or next uh, quarter and then how we are going to use that one so that is what i wanted to tell you guys to provide that uh, what um, uh, what is subscription what is your resource group name and then what will be that um, your app insight name instance name and where we are going to host that one so mostly we are hosting till now everything into india south india is east asia pacific service is not into south india too i guess so i will take at the east asia and then uh, there are another service you can hook in with this workspace based where the log analytics workspace you can create and select that one and that will give uh, the uh, so generally if this uh, application inside will store a time limit based data and hot data you use can use that uh, log analytics for storing the cold data cold log after six months or after three months and they play with that data so but right now i'm going to use that classic one so next the tagging we have talked about so let me go and create this one If you guys see that one that I have created a application inside and right now because there is no uh, uh, connected source or connected application on this one right now all this um, uh, charts and other things is empty but if you uh, we the data is chart coming then you will see that one that uh, that all this is going to come and then you can plug in different things from me if I as I talk to you that user session you can see sessions events tunnel and funnel and user flow all these things you can see that there these are good settings and good things to have into one once we are developing some tools or some bigger application then we can go and see that one what are the different things on that one generally we used to know that what is the ability of our website or web api so this is the tools we generally use for that one and using this tool also we know that one that from different places of the world, um, uh, different parts of the world, how our application is performing and how the um, API call is taking time from one part of application, maybe that uh, our application is hosted in one data center and that reason it is very fast, but from different part of the world it is slow. So that is what everything we can figure out using this tool. Thank you.